yesterday, Swan Bitcoin dropped a huge bomb on the entire Bitcoin space by letting everybody know they're going to be winding down their mining operations and that they're going to be delaying their IPO indefinitely. Does that mean the IPO plans are scrapped? What really happened at Swan? Is this maybe a strategy to repackage the company so that it could possibly be sold to a bigger player? Welcome back, everyone. I'm sure you guys all saw the announcement uh, from Corey, uh, from Corey Clipston, who is the CEO of Swan Bitcoin, and that essentially they were going to be winding down uh, their mining operations. Now, for the people who, who don't know, uh, about a year ago, Swan had announced that they were going to begin a foray into the world of mining by produce, uh, by providing uh, hash power. And they were essentially, from what we saw, they were mining with the ocean mining pool. Um, and then all of a sudden, Yesterday, and again, I say all of a sudden because to those of us that don't work for the company or are not intimate uh, with knowledge from Swan, it, it came as a shock, right? Uh, now, there are other people in the space that'll say that they, they weren't shocked. Um, but the thing is this, right? I think what people are wondering is what actually happened? Of course, right now, for the most part, in terms of the general space, that there's just a whole bunch of, of rumors, Right. Um, there, there's some people speculating that uh, they overextended, they, they overextended or over leveraged themselves uh, too soon in the process. Other people are speculating that essentially, um, again, it, along the same vein of over leveraging, uh, that they essentially put too much money to work too quickly in hopes that the Bitcoin ETF approvals and subsequent inflows uh, would somehow translate into uh, you know, more, I guess, more customers for them and obviously more revenue. Uh, and that didn't seem to play out. The other possibility is that everything was going along as they planned. And then some type of a event occurred, right? A black swan event, like we like to say in Bitcoin, a black swan event occurred. And um, unfortunately, they had to make, Swan Management had to make massive cuts and they had to make a really quick pivot and a decision, right? So essentially these, all of this, all of this could be true to some degree. Now, of course, the only people who will know the absolute truth uh, are, are people like, uh, you know, like Corey and, uh, and, and Brady Swenson, right? To the fellow to, to the fellow Bitcoiners that I know uh, that worked at Swan uh, up until you know up until this happened and even before, um, you know obviously I hope that you guys are able to find you know some other work. Obviously I hope that while you were there you were able to stack something and you know for a rainy day because unfortunately this this is a rainy day. Um, and the other piece of it is is that the experiences that you guys had and what you learned is going to be useful going forward. So a job is just a job. Like I get it. We're in this space. Bitcoin's very important. You know, Swan started off from, you know, it, it's from scratch, right? They started off from scratch and it was crazy to see how big and how, how quickly and how big they got. Um, but you know, for the people who lost their jobs, chin up, you're going to find another job. Um, for the people that are wondering about, you know, is this the end for Swan? Um, I'm not a hundred percent. I'm not a hundred percent convinced. Obviously, I hope for them that they're able to, that they're able to restructure and and then rebuild back up again if that's what their goal is. Uh, but my point is, is that I obviously I, I hope that they can be successful going forward. Um, but in the meantime, this story is just causing a whole lot of rumors. And, um, I'm probably adding to those rumors, so <laughs> I'm not, I'm not helping. Uh, but guys, look, it, a couple of things though, that I noticed was, uh, there was a story that, that came out and, and essentially they, they were framing, they were framing this, uh, this occurrence that happened with Swan as an indication for the overall mining sector and difficulties in the mining sector. I, I think that that's wrong. Um, 
I, I don't think that that is accurate, okay? Because um, Swan was not primarily, Swan Bitcoin was not primarily a miner, okay? They were primarily a dollar cost averaging and we'll say Bitcoin financial services platform and a media platform where they were providing and creating high quality educational uh, Bitcoin educational material for, for their clients and, you know, for anybody who essentially wanted to learn about Bitcoin. And they had various services along those lines. So the framing that somehow what happened with Swan is indicative or uh, somehow a uh, precursor as to what's going to happen in the overall Bitcoin mining space, I think that's a little far-fetched. I do think that that's FUD. I'm not really concerned about that. So... Yeah, but I mean, it doesn't mean that I'm necessarily right, though. Of course, right? I mean, obviously, I could just be wrong, um, and time will tell. That, that that's it's that simple, right? Time will tell, and hey, you know, either I'll be made into a fool or I'll be validated. It's it's one of the two. Uh, but look to you know all, all of fellow Bitcoiners that work for Swan. You guys did great work over there. Uh, I know it's not easy. Um, I, I know that I, I can tell you from my own experience, right? Um, it's working in Bitcoin and especially being Bitcoin only. Um, you limit yourself from many, and I'm putting this in air quotes, opportunities, okay, because I don't think that they are all opportunities, but unfortunately what happens is, is that you do alienate yourself from a lot of the VC money. Um, and yeah, you know, I mean, I, I, I understand that some people can appreciate that and, you know, they, they can applaud you, you know, for your integrity and whatnot, but applauding you for your integrity does not pay the bills. That's the honest truth, you know, about life. So you know, I hope that Swan can get back on their feet and start to, you know, and start to build again. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely, this is a crazy time. And, and this all happened right before the um, the Nashville conference, right? Like they, Swan announced this uh, yesterday, which was, which was Monday, that this recording is going to drop on Wednesday. So it's going to, it'll be two days from that point. But um, yeah, you know, they, they dropped this announcement on Monday and then the Nashville conference, you know, starts on Friday. So uh, anyways, um, supposed to be the bull run. We're supposed to be super happy and excited, but unfortunately we're getting, you know, we, we got this bad news, but guys, uh, chin up. The, this is just a, it's a bump in the road. And yeah, this is, uh, this is what I wanted to talk about today. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. <laughs>